Women who killed three children and three adults at a Nashville Christian school last spring have now leaked to the public. Showing the thoughts of the killer, some of them vulgar. Anthony's back with these details. Scott and Dawn, the three images released show a schedule for what uh, the shooter termed death day and two pages expressing Covenant school shooter Audrey Hale's possible motive for killing six people, including three nine-year-old children at the Covenant school. She attended herself as a child. A month before the shooting in Hale's journal, she wrote, quote, kill those kids, then uses a racial slur describing white students at, quote, private fancy schools. The 28-year-old who identified as transgender also uses a homophobic slur writing, a quote, about right, white privileges. On the morning of the attack, Hale describes feeling, quote, nervous but excited, writing, can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't. My only fear is if anything goes wrong, I'll do my best to prevent any of the sort. God let my wrath take over my anxiety. Nashville police say the picture writings are not official crime scene images as authorities now work to learn who released them. Let's make sure uh, that we have an independent review of how these materials, which are under court order to seal right now, uh, could have found their way uh, outside the legal process. And responding officer shot and killed Hale during the attack. In a statement, Nashville police say the shooter's 20 journals and suicide note will remain under seal until a court decision is made. Meantime, a group of Covenant School parents, they are working to prevent those writings from becoming public. Scott? Don't use that. Why? That's mommy's. Use this if you want to smell like that tea. You never had to question if you were a man, so why give your money to a corporation that doesn't know if their products are made for men? Try Jeremy Razor's hair and body products. Jeremy's shampoo and conditioner are made with tea tree oil to naturally clean and restore your hair and scalp, argan oil to soften your hair and not your masculinity, and aloe vera to moisturize the hair and scalp. It's all paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, and most importantly, 100% woke-free. Not to mention, it smells amazing. Go to JeremyRazors.com and use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. That's JeremyRazors.com. Use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. Let me just get to our next story. So you guys know the trans shooter from March, the trans male is actually a female that shot up the school. They actually released the manifesto, okay? Actually, it was leaked. Um, it was leaked and released by Steven Crowder. And this is off of Newsweek. Steven Crowder teased the, the release of the manifesto allegedly written by the accused school shooter in Nashville, Tennessee, where six victims died earlier this year. In a video posted on his YouTube, said the manifesto was leaked and shared screenshots of portions of the document, which was believed to uh, be the work of Audrey Hale, 28, whom authorities identified as the shooter. They also said Hale, who died at the scene, once attended the school. So just to ref uh, refresh your memory, it was the individual the girl that went into the school and she shot her way in because the school is usually locked during the day. So she shot her way in and she just went through the hallway and started shooting kids. She took the life of three babies between the ages of six and nine. I mean, I might've been younger than that. And then she took the life of three adults. And this was a Christian school. I will be reading the manifesto here on this show, Crowder said in the video. But a post to X, formerly Twitter, Crowder shared other images of the manifesto, including one part that said, I hope I have a high death count. Um, Newsweek has been unable to independently verify that the manifesto was written by Hale. A Metro Nashville Police Department spokesperson told Newsweek that the police were unable to confirm that Hale wrote the manifesto, but said they are looking into the matter. Um, Crowder said, we stand by our reporting. That's what he's saying. Um, FBI spokes, 
as this matter is being released by the courts, FBI will not be commenting. Um, so, okay, so this is one of the pages. And it says, today is the day has finally come. I can't believe it's here. Don't know how I was able to get this far, but I'm here. I am. I'm a little nervous, but excited too. Been excited for the past two weeks. There were seven times I could have been caught, especially back in summer of 2021. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if, if a person was mentally challenged or mentally in anguish, would they write like this? The writing, yeah, but I mean, I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like that. But would you say, oh, I could have been caught in summer of 2021? Does that sound like somebody will write that? None of this matters now. I'm almost an hour and seven minutes away. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't. My only fear is if anything goes wrong, I'll do my best to prevent of the sort. God let my wrath take over my anxiety. It might it might be three to seven. It's gonna be it's gonna go quick. I hope I have a high death count, ready to die. Ha ha. They signed their name. That's sad. Uh only reason why I question that is like, why would you on one of the pages, she was talking about Christians. Then then you say, oh, God, take over my anxiety. So do you not believe in God? Do you hate God? And then you asking God to take over your anxiety. I mean, come on now. That doesn't make any sense. And then to say, why would you? And this, this is just, I'm thinking out loud, you guys. Why would you even say, hey, I almost got caught in the summer of 2021. That's like really odd to say that. They saying this is supposed to be shown, but it's not letting me see it. Oh, the post is unavailable. That's why. This is the girl right here. She was trans. I guess she was on, you know, HRT or whatever they get on. Now listen to this. Uh, the Hale family attorney responds. It says, I represent Ron and Mrs. Normal Hale. We have never seen manifesto at any time. We're not in position, in a position to authenticate these pieces of paper. We have absolutely not released anything, but we certainly did not release this. It's inappropriate for me to make any further comment about it. Um, but you know, people gotta people want to know. You your your child or the people that you represent took six people away from the earth. So they they want to know why. And you should be telling us. The other paper we saw, say it's a different notebook, but the other paper we saw it had it wasn't a spiral bounded notebook, it was just a regular notebook. And now people are saying, oh, praise Stephen Crowder. Stephen Crowder uh, tweeted, Community Notes is trying to suppress this, and Alex Jones did not link this. Can you look into this? Stephen Crowder is like, no, this is my work. I leaked it. Because he wants all the, of course, yeah, I guess if you were into like the investigative reporting, he, he wants to be the first one you know, to take credit for making everybody realize, hey, I got this information. It says your posts may go against us. So they're trying to censor it. That's probably why I can't find it. That's why. Um, it says your post goes uh, against the community guidelines. Yeah. It's like, okay. And then you have, um, what's her name? Candace Owens saying, oh, I don't, I don't know if that's true. If this is an actual manifesto, if the these are legitimate documents or journals from this girl, so I'm not going to comment on it. 
and everybody was giving her crap about it. <laughs> you just mad because Steven Crowder leaked it first. <laughs> so anyway, they um, leaked it. Look what the mayor is doing now. Nashville mayor launches an investigation into leak of the trans Nashville shooters manifesto. This is the mayor. It says the following leak of the transgender Nashville shooter alleged manifesto on Monday, Mayor Freddie O'Connell said that the city has launched an investigation into how the images of the writings were released. I have directed Wally Dites, Metro Law Director, to initiate an investigation into how these images could have been released. That investigation may involve local and state and federal authorities. I am deeply concerned with the safety, security, and the well-being of our covenant families and all Nashville Nashvilleans who are grieving, O'Connell said in a statement according to MSMV. And they're saying this incident naturally invokes additional emotional trauma and families or individuals who need support should reach out uh, to professionals. I could see it would um, re-traumatize some people. Your kids shouldn't be on Twitter anyway, but as an adult, I could see that happening. You know, if you see your loved ones and they're talking about it and then you see this manifesto, should it be a release to the public? I, I think it should be, but when is the time to release it? We don't know when when is a good time for them to release you know, this uh, so-called manifesto. So um, you guys put it in chat. Let me know what you think.